Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. This time we're going to do something really cool for you. Dave over at Matter Hackers sent me out a bottle of the Peel Poly Neon Green resin. It's this wonderful toxic waste looking oozy yellow resin. That's really cool. And he sent it to me and said, make something rad. So I know you've all seen the hairy lion. We've seen them big, we've seen them in gold, but have you ever seen one done on an SLA printer? Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, so the challenge here is going to be that the resin used to print this on the SLA printer is not a thermoplastic like used on a traditional FDM, which means that it's not impacted by heat the same way. It is a little bit squishy still, and you can tell that the hairs are still soft because it hasn't been fully cured. So my hope is that we can get it off of the build plate and get it rinsed off, carefully cut away the shield, and then using the softness of it, style the hair the way that we want it, and then put it into the curing oven, and hopefully it'll stay that way. So let's see if we can glove up and make this work. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to very gently, using the scraper provided, I'm going to try to break this free of the build plate. See if we can get under it enough to do that. What I don't want to do is break any of it while it is still soft, and supports have a tendency to do that. And there we have it. Now we have all these underside supports here as well that supported the lion from underneath. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take the lid off. We're going to set this out of the way. And take the lid off the ethanol bath here. I'm going to put this in my little strainer basket, doohickey and we're going to gently give this a bath. I'm gonna to try to turn it over. And we wanna to try to wash as much of the resin off there as we can. What it is is after it comes out, you still have the resin that is not cured on the outside, the, the liquid that stays on there. So that needs to all be washed off before it can be fully cured. dip it in water and try to rinse away some of it. You see the water just clouding right up with that. Okay, let's set this out of the way for now. We'll clean up our tools completely later, and I'm just going to wipe any splashes up here on the desk. Set that there. I'm going to pull off a clean paper towel to work on. Now we're going to very delicately try to start cutting this away without disturbing the hair. At this point, I'm going to remove one of my gloves so that I can feel a little bit more. And we'll see how easily we can do this. I'm 
and let's see if we can snoosh it now that it's cut free. And we've cut it out. There is our hairy lion, right there. Now let's see if we can remove these lower supports. And normally I would cure it first, um, but in this case we want to try to mitigate that. So we're going to very carefully try to cut these out as much as possible without destroying the hair. Just so everybody knows, there, I did not do a proof of concept or anything. This is the first time this has been done, so you are seeing it real. Well, I pity the guy that has to come back through later and clean all this up. Oh wait, that's me. There we have it. Now we have the hair, and we can try to get out some of these other pieces of support that are stuck in it without breaking any more of the hair than we need to. And there we have it. So now let's try to set our lion aside. We'll clean up our little bit of a mess here. And we're going to bring the IPA back up, or the ethanol back up, I'm sorry. And I'm going to give it another rinse here. All right, let's see if we can style this guy. right now. I am not a hairstylist, so let's see what we can do with try to pull that away. Still picking pieces of support out of the hair. We want it to have a mane, not dreadlocks, so let's pick out what we can. Okay, now that we have that loose, let's see about trying to cure this thing. You grab a UV light and I will meet you right back here. Okay, let's put these safety glasses on first. Now, what I have here is the UV light the new UV light available from Peel Poly. Uh, it's a spotlight, floodlight style, and it puts out enough UV that it will mess with your eyes. So you do need to wear the same safety glasses that you do when you're working with your laser. And there we have the light. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to position this onto the lion here as I try to shape this hair back. So that way it kind of tries to hold it. We're gonna try to cure it in place. You know, easier said than done, right? And I'm just gonna try to hold that there just long enough to try to get it to harden up just a little bit. I don't want a full cure on this, but enough to try to hold the hair back. Uh, I'm trying to go for the hairspray. Gonna look here. Well, it's by no means perfect, but there we have it. Let's turn this off. So that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and put this in the UV curing oven and then we'll meet back here once it's cured the rest of the way. Okay, I've had the hairy lion in the UV curing bucket for a while now. So let's unplug this guy, pop the top, 
and let's take him out, see how he looks. There we have it, the world's first resin hairy lion. I think he needs a little bit of a trimming, and uh, so let's see if we can do that here. I am by no means a barber, but let's see if we can make that look a little bit better. Kind of, kind of wild looking here, huh? Like it's windblown. I am by no means a barber. Okay, I think that about gets most of our random hairs out of there. So what do you think? There we have it. I do believe that we have the world's first SLA printed hairy lion. And uh, I think I'm gonna name him Dave. Kinda has that same sweeping hairdo, don't you think? So there we have it for today. I would like to send out a special thanks to Matter Hackers for providing the filament and challenging me to try something fun here. Um, if you do have a PO Poly Moai and you need to pick up some resin, please feel free to follow the Matter Hackers links down below. It'll take you right over to their Moai store. If you have an FDM printer, feel free to hit up Matter Hackers for filament or any of your other needs. With that, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and ring the bell so that you'll be notified of new videos as they come up. And we will see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.